Hello Grade 7 students! Did you accomplish all the activities in the previous module? The second module in Quarter 1 of Arts will guide you on how to know and understand the characteristic of the arts and crafts of Luzon. This time, you will focus on some example of architectures, sculptures, and everyday objects from the said place. Open your eyes and mind as you examine the designs of the said arts and crafts. Are those familiar to you? Are those arts and crafts available in other places? Are there commonalities and difference between and among the arts and crafts of Luzon as compared to other places? These are some of the questions that you need to answer. Challenging activities are provided for you to enhance your critical thinking skills. Please accomplish all the activities and answer all the questions. Quarter 1, Module 2 The Majestic Architecture and Sculpture of Luzon Learning Competencies The learner identifies characteristic of arts and crafts in specific areas in Luzon. Example, paper mache, from paete, ifugao wood sculpture or bulul, Caldellera Jewelry and Pottery, Tattoo, and Ilocos Weaving and Pottery, Bornai. Number 2. Reflects on and derive the mood, idea, or message emanating from selected artifacts and art objects. In the previous module, we learned about the different attires, fabrics, tapestries, scraps, accessories, and body ornamentations of highlands and lowlands of Luzon. I believe you are now familiar with the characteristic of the designs and motifs of craftsmanship used in the said place. Now, let us determine the characteristic of architectures, sculptures, and everyday objects in the said place. The sculptures and architectures of Luzon show many aspects in people's culture, traditions, and history which were handed down from generations to generation. This module will guide you on identifying their characteristics. Are you ready to answer your activities in Quarter 1, Module 2, Activity Sheet? Now, for your activity number 1, Welcome Aboard, please review your flight plan before starting your journey. Try to follow the flight plan which leads to the different places where you can find some iconic landmarks and objects. Before going to the next places, Make sure that you will not use the same path. Good luck! And answer the following questions. Number 1. Were you able to follow the right path? How? Number 2. What challenges have you encountered in reaching your destination? Number 3. Identify the iconic landmarks and objects that you have encountered according to the sequence of your arrival in each places. Number 4. Are you familiar with the things you have enlisted? What are your ideas about them? We are planning to make a simple travelogue. But first, would you like to describe those landmarks or objects in your list? Architecture The art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. Calle Crisologo Calle Crisologo is a narrow and cobbled stone 15th century Spanish street in Vigan, Ilocosur, and is considered to be one of the heritage sites in the Philippines. It is lined with antique houses and shops leading to the town's 100-year-old churches. Vigan is considered as the Intramuros of the North, which retains the Spanish colonial architecture, a fullness of life in the celebration of Festival of the Arts. The Spanish-type houses in Calle Crisologo are made of adobe, bricks, lime, terracotta, hardwood floors, and windows of copy shells framed in wooden window panels with huge, high-pitched roof, large and rectangular living rooms. Tumauni Church Tumauni Church is a Baroque church that was built in 1873 and can be found in the municipality of Tumauni, Isabela. The structure was built entirely of red bricks and done in a style of late Baroque and early Rococo. It has four-story bell tower that looks like a wedding cake. It is a Roman Catholic parish church of San Matias Apostol and is considered the most artistic brick structure in the country. The Spanish Gate 
Spanish Gate, located in Olongapo City, Zambales, was built in 1885 and serves as the entrance to the original Spanish Naval Station that provides repair, ammunition, supply, and medical support for ships. It has high walls made from locally quarried stone connected to the south gate that faces the waterfront. It was used as a jail during Spanish and American occupation. San Andres Apostol Paris Church San Andres Apostol Paris Church, popularly known as Masenloc Church, is a 19th century Baroque church located at Barangay South Poblacion, Masenloc, Zambales. The church structure is standout among Spanish-era churches in Central Luzon region for having been built with coral stone. Instead of adobe stone, it has St. Nietzsche's vertical windows carved Nietzsche's with town's patron saints and a carving of geometric shapes and medallions on the pediment. Its belfry is designed like a circular template with lantern and cross. Parish of Three Kings Parish of Three Kings in Gapan City is a Roman Catholic church built in 1800s and is one of the biggest and oldest churches in Nueva Ecija. It has huge side doorways with two standing images of their patron saints on both sides and mural of the Holy Trinity on the ceiling with the style of Byzantine architecture. The church is made of bricks, adobe, and lime. St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church the St. Dominic de Guzman Paris Church, also known as Abukay Church, is a 17th century Baroque church located at Barangay Laon, Abukay, Bataan, Philippines. It was built in 1587 and was administered in 1588 by the Dominicans. It is a Renaissance architecture with five-layer bell tower defined by decorative balusters and ornamented with semicircular arc windows. It has single or couple Doric columns, two St. Niches in the main portal, and one in the center. Sculptures The art of making two- or three-dimensional representative or abstract forms, especially by carving stone or wood or by casting metal. Bulul Bulul is a wooden sculpture also known as Bulul or Tinagtagu that represents the rice granary spirits that guard the rice crops of Ipugao. It is carved wooden human figure with simplified forms made from a Nara tree which signifies wealth, happiness, and well-being to the Ifugao. Paete Paete in Laguna is considered as the wood carving capital of the Philippines. Paete is popular for the carving culture of saints and other religious images, decorative carvings of lunar patterns, and geometric designs. Gigantes Gigantes are big paper mache caricature of humans that represent farmers and fishermen. But according to stories, the original gigantes were representation of hacienderos during the Spanish colonial period. The gigantes are rendered as a man or woman in various costumes. Their faces give a commanding look in their hands on the waist. The earliest gigantes are composed of a father, mother, and a child. It originated in the art capital of the Philippines, the Angono Rizal Province. Now let's proceed to activity number 2. Complete the chart below based on the pictures of the churches from Isabela, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, and Zambales. And answer the following questions. Number 1. Was it difficult to complete the chart? Why or why not? Number 2. Which architectures do you find interesting? For what reason? Number 3. Can you compare one of the ancient churches to the modern churches near your place? Cite the commonalities and difference. Number 4. What is the importance of studying the design and characteristic of architecture and sculpture of Luzon in relation to our culture? Number 5. In your perspective, is there a need to restore old churches? Why? And number 6. What did you discover after studying the architecture and sculpture of Luzon? For activity number 3, fill in the chart below with the correct information needed. Derive the mood, idea, message emanating from the selected artifacts and art objects. In the last column, write a reflection on the mood, idea, and message you derive from the artifacts and art objects. And for your last activity, the assessment. Choose the best possible answer. Write only the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. 
Remind your students to complete all your answers in your activity sheet before you click Turn In. Thank you and happy learning!